Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start crocheting the sleeve. Okay, um, on the previous video, I did do show you how to separate the body parts. Now we're going to be doing the sleeve. So on this one, I already did it. And it's uh, down to my three-quarter sleeve. It's down to my elbow because it's being um, top down. It's about 10 inches I have crocheted. So when it's top down, uh, this area goes down. So it's all just right under my underarm. So I have crocheted 10 inches and uh, that's the perfect length for me. So I thought I don't want to do a long sleeve. I want to work on the body. So I only have two more uh, balls left of this gorgeous gorgeous color and uh this yarn i picked the same color so whichever color you start with we need to start with the other so it has to be symmetric so it has to be the same color right we can't do different colors so i found exactly the same color i'm going to start with and this is the yarn that i bought from Hirschner's willow's yarn and it's i just love it it is um 87% cotton, 13% nylon, and that's uh, super soft, and it's really, really great to work with. Okay, so I'm just going to start right away, uh, and I already created a playlist, so I will add this to the playlist, and it's the same technique that I'm using, nothing different. So when you hold your underarm, this is the underarm, right? So when you hold it like this, I need to work on the same pattern. I need to create that same pattern. Okay, so I'll just show it to you here. See, it's really hard to, for you to see, but uh, you just need to make it up. There's no written pattern. Uh, you just start what you see and you start crocheting it. I know it's really hard, you can't see anything, but um, I'm going to do the same method. Okay, so here is my Pico. And here is my uh, double crochet. So this one is supposed to be a pico, but and then and this one is supposed to be a pico, right? Right here. Okay. So when I look at it here, uh, I don't even know where I started. <laughs> Believe it or not, I really don't know. So I'm going to use the same technique, which I'm going to start right here, right in the middle. So I don't want to grab this one yarn here. I'm just going to grab it from here. And then just going to start it like this and then make a knot. Just like this. And I'm going to make it a one. So I'm just starting. I'm just trying to create the the stitch right to do that right here i'm going to make a pico right here but uh there's a gap right so um just looking just looking how i started doesn't have to be the same so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to jump here and then make a single crochet Three chain and then right here make a single crochet okay and then here I'm going to make three double crochet so I'm just following the pattern that's what I'm trying to say uh, I start from one point and then I just continue crocheting the pattern that's all you need to do you can't make anything else. You can't, you know, create anything else. It's 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 impossible. <clears throat> so is this is where I'm supposed to make my pico, which is a single crochet, three chain, single crochet. You just need to follow. And then when I come up here, I will try to go on the rhythm. So I'll be right back. I'm just crocheting how. It's supposed to be crocheted. I'm just following 
it's what this pattern the stitch is a two row repeat so every two row we change the rhythm of the uh, how it looks like okay so i'll meet you right back where we started okay so i am back where we started so what i'm going to do is i am going to change the row so the row is the next row is automatically as you can see i don't want a big gap here so right here in the middle i'm going to make a single crochet and then i'm going to chain three okay and then i'm just looking so uh what i'm going to do is on the same i'm going to make a single crochet and then i'm going to jump I'm not going to chain usually i should chain but i don't want a big gap so i'm going to make a double crochet right here and then i will chain two because i don't want a huge gap and then right here uh, so i'm just following the pattern and what i'm going to do is in the middle i'm going to make a single crochet three chain single crochet okay so when i come back i need to get rid of some of my stitches here Okay, and I will do that on the next row. So I need to do my decrease to shape the sleeve. See, when you hold it, the sleeve, I don't want to have a bulky sleeve. Like uh, I want it, when I put it on, I want it to be on my sleeve. My arm, I don't want to have it any extra fabric. So that's why I did the decreases give that nice uh when i wear it it just fits me like a glove that's what i want to have it okay so i'm just going to continue doing the same thing following the stitch and then chain two and then make a double crochet here just following the pattern and i will come here and i will show you how to get rid of uh, some of the stitches to do the decrease on the underarm okay i'll be right back Okay, so I am right here at the underarm, so I'm going to try to get rid of these three. To do that, I just did my regular double crochet, two chain. I'm just following the rules. So what I'm going to do is, I'm supposed to make a pico here and then make a double crochet, uh, three double crochet here, and then make a pico and then three double crochet. But instead of doing that, I'm going to go like this, not pulling. So I'm getting rid of some, um, and then I will come here and I will just pull this all together. See? So I got rid of that three stitches that I was seeing. And then I'm not going to, well, I'll just secure this chain one. And then I'm just going to come here and then continue making my uh, three double crochet. I'm just following the rhythm of the stitch pattern and then jump here and then make a pico so i'll just continue crocheting so this is how you get rid of and then you make your you make your decreases to make that uh, slim uh, on the sleeve okay so i will continue crocheting the stitch nothing else uh, just the same stitch pattern that i'm following and i will come here and i will show you again this way um what i will do is i will crochet uh, the stitch pattern as i see and on the next row i will do a decrease again so every two rows i will do a decrease to give that nice uh, slim look and i'm not going to do too many because uh, it's already bulky yarn and uh yeah and i will measure the other sleeve and i will come back to show it to you how it looks like so far okay so i'm where we where we started so i did my pico here i'm going to make a double crochet but i'm not going to chain because I don't want that huge gap. And here I'm going to make a pico. So I'm just following how to crochet the stitch. That's all I'm doing. And then I continue the stitch. Okay, so when I come back here, see, I'm, I'm going to get rid of these three. Well, I'm going to get rid of, uh, so I'll have one sitting here. So I will crochet all the way around and I will come in back and show you how it looks like so far. I forgot to measure, so I will measure and I will show it to you how it looks uh, when you um, lay it down. 
Okay, so this is how it looks like when you measure it. So it should be the same, right? I haven't tried it on yet, but it should be the same. Now I'm going to do the decrease, and I'm going to start with the green yarn. So it's perfect. It can be one uh, sleeve can be a little bit of tinted different, but what can you do? It can't be the same, right? It can't be perfect. Okay, so I did my pico. And here I'm supposed to be making a double crochet as I did here to chain two, but I'm not going to chain the two because I don't want any gap, gaps under the underarm. So I just come here and I'm not going to do anything there. Not planning to, so I get rid of that. And uh, just going to check. There's a little bit of gap here, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to continue crocheting. So here I'm going to make a pico, just continue crocheting. So I did get rid of, um, I believe, two rows or three rows, uh, two rows. I got rid of some stitches. So I will continue to crochet. So what I'll do is I'll crochet all the way, come back and uh, continue to crochet. I won't do any decrease. And I will measure again and I will put it on to see how it fits my arm. Always try it on. That is the reason I like making top down knit items, crochet items. So you can try it on as you go and it's seamless. You don't have to worry about sewing them together. You need to match one to another. That's why I like about working on uh, top down because uh, they're seamless. Because I crochet them round and around like the sleeve. I don't have to do any sewing up or anything. I just love how it turns out. Okay, so I will continue crocheting and I will come back to show you how it looks like to after finishing this row and then making another row. And I will be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that I need to make another decrease because um, due to the stitch pattern. So I made my pico here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double crochet here and not pull the remaining two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double crochet here. <clears throat> but there's going to be a huge gap, but that's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to pull it all at once. And then right here, I'm going to jump. I'm not going to do this chain or anything. And then I'm going to make a pico here. Okay, this way, it would be easy for me to get rid of uh, see what I mean. So when I come here, I, I can just play around with it to get rid of the one of the stitches here. Okay, I had to do that, and I will put this on and try it on how it fits, because I don't want it tight, right? And uh, this might be the last stitch. I don't know, maybe the uh, the remaining would be the uh, last uh, decrease. So uh, I just need to figure it out. You can't, you just, you just need to play around the stitch that you're working with. I know it doesn't look anything but um, you can figure it out as you go. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to do a one uh, decrease to do that. I did my three double crochet here. I'm supposed to make a pico, and then here I'm supposed to make a pico. So what I will do is, this is what I will do. I'll make one single crochet, three chain, and then I will come here. So I will get rid of one of the stitches that way. And I will just continue crocheting. I'm not going to chain because I don't chain on underarms because there's already gaps, right? If I chain, then there it would be too many uh, gaps in between. So I do my sing a double crochet, two chain, and then I continue crocheting the stitch pattern. So this way I got rid of one stitch. And then when I come to the next row... I will see what I have to do. Uh, here I'm supposed to make a three double crochet. Here I'm supposed to make a one double crochet. And 
I will try to figure out how to get it. And I did put it on so it's not tight. It just fits me perfectly. So um, I will continue to make decreases until I change my color to the beige. As I check the other sleeve, <clears throat> uh, the other sleeve, I did my decreases until here. Can you see? Here, this was my last decrease. So I did, I believe I did one, two. I'm looking at it, three rows. Here I did a decrease. And here I did a decrease. I skipped this one. So I did here a decrease. So I just need to follow the same rhythm as I did on this sleeve. So I'm just going to continue crocheting. And uh, that's all I can tell you. So uh, this is how you continue crocheting and it, it has to match the other sleeve, right? So just be particularly careful when you're doing your decreases, right? And put it on always when you're working on the sleeve. This is the way I do my um, cardigans, sweaters when I'm working on. I always do my decreases, but if you don't want to do decreases, you can go all the way down. See how... Uh, let me see if I put this box. You can see. Can you see? So if I did it, my do decreases, you will see that I will I would have had this extra fabric here, just to show you. So that's the reason I do my decrease. I give this slope this uh, this uh, I get rid of it and I get rid of that fabric because I don't want that extra fabric. That way I save the yarn. <laughs> And I work on the body length. So, um, like I said, you don't have to. If you want it bulky, you are welcome to crochet it just round and around. Just follow the rhythm of the stitch pattern. And then you will continue uh, crocheting uh, the way that you like it. But this is the way I do it. And I really enjoy it. And it just fits like a glove. So, uh, if you have any questions, please leave them on the under the video. Do not, please, I am begging not to uh, reply to my other videos, like totally opposite. Sometimes I get these comments and I'm thinking, what is she talking about? I don't understand what she's saying. And I try to figure it out. That makes me lose time and try to figure. And I just, sometimes I give up. I don't reply back. I'm sorry, but try to reply under the video that you have a question so I can reply to you. Other than that, or maybe you will, I don't know, ask me a question 10 years later and I totally forgot forget this tutorial. But this is the way it's done uh, on how to crochet uh, sleeves by um, picking up the stitch like I showed you at the beginning. That's the only thing that you do, same thing over and over. It's the same technique. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That notification bell, like this, right on this corner, there should be a bell. Uh, click that bell so every time I post a video, you will be notified, indicating that I have a a new video that I have posted on my channel. You guys take care and I will see you on my next video. Happy crocheting everybody. Bye bye.